Deep agents are a type of agent that complete tasks over longer time horizons. This is the architecture that agents like Claude Code, Manus, and Deep Research use to complete their task. In this video, we'll be creating a research deep agent in TypeScript, one that can go out, do web searches, and synthesize that information in a cohesive report, all done through our new Deep Research TypeScript library. And so in this video, we will be creating a TypeScript-based research agent and connect it to this Deep Agent UI. We will see the agent populate with tools, tasks, and different sub-agents as well. Before we start jumping into the code, I want to talk about how deep agents are different from the agent structures that you've seen in the past. So deep agents are built on top of the React agent structure that you've probably heard about in the past. In a React agent, an LLM performs an action on an input and uses the observation to reason and act again in a loop. Now, this works brilliantly when you have a short execution session, but as context and planning gets larger, we need a different framework. Now this is where deep agents come into play. Deep agents are different due to four primary components. The first is that they have a planning tool. They have an overall tool that helps them plan and understand what needs to happen next. The next is that they have access to a file system to offload context and information in an organized manner. It prevents the agent from accumulating too much information in its context window. We saw that earlier in our deep agents UI. And the last two is that the first is that it has access to sub-agents. Sub-agents are specialized agents that can carry out a specific task. So as shown earlier, a sub-agent could be a research sub-agent or a critique sub-agent. And the last is that it has a very detailed system prompt that you'll see later in this video. Let's dive into the code. So we can start by heading over to the Deep Agents JS repository and cloning it locally. Now that we're in the terminal, we can clone the repository that we've fetched earlier. We can head into it. And in the repository, we've created an examples folder. In the examples folder, we can head into research where we have our langgraph.json file, which will be used to run our langgraph server later on. Now, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a dot environment file. In the dot environment file, we need to add two things for our example. We need to add a Tavili API key, which is our web search provider. And we need to add the LLM provider, which is the Anthropic API key. Now, add your own keys there. And once that's done, exit. And now what you're ready to do is actually install and build. So let's yarn install and yarn build. And you are ready to go. So let's dive into the code. This is the research agent.ts file that I mentioned in the examples research folder earlier. Now, everything in this file is built around the create deep agent function. This is what instantiates the deep agent, which you can then either invoke or start the Langgraph server and connect to. Now, when you create a deep agent, you need to provide it a list of tools, a list of instructions, and optionally a list of sub agents. Now, the instructions is what I had mentioned earlier about the detailed research instructions that guide all of the agents and sub agents. So in it, we obviously have the description. So we are telling it that it's an expert researcher. And then we have guidelines about creating that overall research brief. And we even have ways to answer questions and list topics. Now, above it, what we have is we have the list of sub agents. So the research sub agent can be found here. And what you need to create any sub agent is a name, a description, a prompt, and a list of tools it has access to. So this is a prompt for the researcher subagent, which is a dedicated researcher and has access to the internet search tool to use Tavili. Now, beneath it, we have the sub critique prompt, which is the prompt that is given to the subagent in order to go and critique that final report once it has been created. So now, now that you have this structure, we're ready to run the Langgraph server. So we can come over here to our terminal and we can run the command to run our Langgraph server, which is npx langchain Langgraph CLI dev. Now, once we run it, the Langgraph server is running and we are ready to create the deep agents UI. We can head over to the deep agents UI GitHub package and get the link to clone here as well. So back in the terminal, 
We can start by cloning the repository for the deep agents UI. We can head into the repo here. And the first thing we want to do is we actually want a yard install. So we can install all of the required dependencies. After this, what we're going to do is that we are going to create an environment file. And in that environment file, we need to specify two different things. We need to specify where our LangGraph server is. And we also need to specify the name of the agent that we're creating. So let's create that dot environment file right there. And let's get, go into the dot environment file and let's do next public deployment URL. So our, our next JS package can use it for me. That was on localhost 2024. And then we can also do next public agent ID, which is the name of the agent that we created, which is the research agent. Now that we've done that, we can do NPM run dev. And our server will now be running on localhost 3000 ready for us to use. So now we have this running on localhost 3000 and this is the deep agents UI. So we can come and type that message. So can you compare New York city in San Francisco and we can send that message. So now it's communicating to our LangGraph server. Um, and what it's doing is it's writing a file. And so it's using that file system to write what our actual question is. It's writing to do's to list out the different tasks that it needs to accomplish. And then it's creating these sub agents. Now it's, as you can see, it's spun up that research sub agent that does a set of internal searches that goes out, finds different information and synthesizes that information that will eventually be critiqued by that critique sub agent. And so, yeah, that's it. Just to recap. What you need to do to get this up and running is you need to clone the deep agents JS repo, run the research agent example, clone the deep agents UI, run that UI, connect them together using the environmental variables, and you should be ready to go. Cool. I'll see you later.